Hi, this is Tina Stewart with Serendipitini Studio, and today I'm going to just show you some uh, product review of some bottles I purchased. These are called Flow Expressions, and they're called they're needle tip bottles, and they can be used. Uh, the reason I got them, and I purchased them from Jerry's Art of Rama, so I'm sure you can find them elsewhere, but that's where I found them. Uh, there's three bottles that come in this package. I think you have an option of buying three or six. And my goal with these, I've been trying to create a resist on a uh, canvas. So what I want to do is um, use a fine, uh, almost like a glue, which I've tried. Um, to outline something and then when it dries be able to paint over it so that that stays raised and it kind of resists the paint so anyway I'm just opening this up to show you the bottles themselves there's really nothing super fancy about them but they're kind of the concept of uh, like a ketchup bottle or something but they're very fine tipped and I'm going to uh, so, I'm just winging it here, but I'm going to try some of this texture paste I got from Real Art Supplies. And the problem I've been having is everything I've tried so far as a resist has spread out too much. Uh, so, we'll see how this works. I'm going to fill an eighth of a teaspoon cup full of the texture medium. So I want it to be thick enough it'll come out of the bottle, but I also want it to be runny enough where I can work with it. So putting an eighth in here, opening this up, going to have to use a funnel because this is too thick and too big. So I was a little concerned. I wasn't sure if this funnel was going to fit in there, but I've got this funnel and it happens to fit in there. I know that you can buy these bottles with a funnel. I think it's the six pack maybe. Anyway, if this will stand up. But we'll try to put this down in there and hope it'll go through, but I think it's going to take a lot of jogging. Right. So I'm just going to... Hope that I can get it in there. It is going in there, it's taking a lot of jogging. <sighs> Alright, so the next thing I'm going to add is um, <sighs> this thing will not stand up. Um, I'm going to try to add some texture, or I'm sorry, matte medium. Uh, this is just a Brand X matte medium I got from, it's called Designer's Palette. It's Handy Art brand, and it's acrylic matte medium. And I'm going to add an eighth of a cup of this to the texture paste and hope that I haven't wasted my texture paste. And I'm going to mix this, I'm going to turn this off, I'm going to mix this up and uh, check back in with you once I get it all in there. Okay, I mixed that up it was tricky to get it through the funnel. I actually used a spoon to kind of swish it around in there. And then I also um, used a wonderful shish kebab skewer, which I always use for different things, and to get it the rest of the way through the funnel. Then I shook it up. And now I'm going to experiment and see. You can see it looks just like glue, but it's got a lot more texture to it. I'm hoping this will come out. This is a very fine 
tip on this. It may be finer than I want. I might want to cut a little bit off, but we'll see. So I'm going to try to just do a flower shape with this and see what happens. All right, I've made it too thick. It's not working. <laughs> all right. So, I, I'll admit, I struggled with this. It wasn't as easy as I thought. Uh, the tips on these are very fine. So really, the only thing you'll be able to put in it, if you use the tip exactly as it comes, is uh, relatively runny paint. Uh, so. You could try acrylic paint. I don't know how well it would work, but it might need to be a little bit watered down. Um, in order to get my mixture to come through this, here's what I did. I took a fourth a cup of matte medium, uh, the brand that I told you, Handy Art, and I added a eighth of a cup of this real art supplies texture paste and then I had to cut the tip off just a little bit I didn't want to cut too far down but it's still pretty fine and you can see I started making petals with this so I'm just gonna make flower petals and my goal is to have it dry relatively raised that's what I want and it is coming out a little thicker than I want so I might have cut off too much but it is giving it's coming out much more easily than it was originally so this is what it looks like as it comes out I've got this flower it's pretty raised I don't know if you can see it and I'll check back in when it's dry to show you how well that worked so I'm just checking back in to show you what the results were after my crazy mixture of matte medium and texture paste. I did a flower design. I blow dried it. It's not completely dry, but it's close to being dry. And it still, it didn't spread as much as Elmer's glue did when I was experimenting with that. Um, it's pretty, it's got a raised texture to it and the drier portions are a little bit more transparent so this would make a good resist um, the bottles work well if I had not cut off quite as much of the end I think it would have been a little more finer detail um, not as broad but I think this is going to work for my next project that I'm trying to do so I just wanted to show you these bottles are a great option if you're trying to do some fine detail work uh, with paint and you don't want to use a brush. Um, I'm sure you can use it for other things, I just don't know what yet. But um, So they're a great option and you can um, widen the tip if you want to or use it the way it is.